Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's Dr. J, and we're back with some more Advanced Warfare. And uh, the reason why I'm posting this is because, um, based on the the recent leaks and rumors about the upcoming Call of Duty game, uh, which is supposed to be set in World War II, I kind of wanted to go back and play a little bit of Advanced Warfare because the uh, developer for um, uh, World War II is going to be a Sledgehammer Games, and their last game was uh, Advanced Warfare, so I kind of wanted to go back and play some of it. And so right here, I'm kind of just going through some, like, customization options, and I decided to uh, kind of, like, make it seem like I'm playing, like, a World War II version of this game. So, like, I'm really, I'm wearing a really basic uh, combat uniform, and so I'm, and also I'm going to be using, like, some of the weapons that were used in World War II, like the uh, STG-44 and the MP-40 and the Sten as well. And uh, some other weapons as well, like the M1 Grand. And there are some um, other weapons that are in this game that came out uh, after the game's release. Uh, like the lever action. And I actually looked up a lot of these weapons to see which ones were in World War II. Lever action wasn't very popular in World War II. Like, I don't think it was really used a lot. Um, so it was, like, just used by, like, one group of, like, some kind of, like, uh, so I don't know what it was. It was, like, soldiers or something. or some kind of armed guards or whatever. But, um... I kind of like just wanted to go back and use some of these uh, weapons that were in World War II and play with them in Advanced Warfare, but I didn't want to uh, like uh, make it so it still seemed futuristic, so I ended up making it so there was um, like no exo suits, so it was basically just like running like boots on the ground for this game, and uh, I didn't put any camos on the uh, weapons either, so I just wanted to make it seem like it's really realistic, and I ended up deciding to use uh, go with the map Instinct. Because a lot of the other maps look futuristic, but this one is kind of like, it has like a um, a feel of like, you know, like you're in the jungles. And even though like a lot of World War II wasn't set in the jungle, it just kind of, it seemed like uh, like a kind of a modern setting or even like a previous setting for like being in like a jungle area. Um, so I kind of want to go with that. And so everything here is just like really basic. Even though it's advanced warfare, I made it so it felt like World War II. And uh, personally, in my opinion, I'm really excited that the next Call of Duty is World War II. Um, for me, I'm like okay with the uh, whole EXO jumping stuff. Like, I haven't been playing Call of Duty for a long time. Like, I started in Black Ops 2, but I don't consider myself a new player because a lot of new players are just used to the jumping stuff. But no, I was really used to like the boots on the ground stuff before. So, um, I'm kind of like, I like both. Uh, I, I honestly prefer the uh, boots on the ground compared to the exo jumping because boots on the ground is the original call of duty uh, so when they had like all these other games like the exo jumping stuff uh in those games um i was fine with them like i love black ops 3 advanced warfare is one of my favorite titles and infinite warfare i think it's a good game but i know a lot of people don't like it so i felt like at this point it was time for us to go back and uh go to like a previous setting for a game and um, I'm really excited that it's going to be World War II. We still haven't gotten a, uh, any like confirmed stuff from Sledgehammer Games or Activision, but there's been tons of like leaks, and they've been confirmed by other big companies and stuff. And so it actually is going to happen. And uh, just this morning when I was like looking on uh, Twitter, apparently some uh, poster arts were leaked for um, uh, uh, World War II, saying that like the title, the release date was going to be November 3rd. I don't know if that's actually true. A lot of people thought it was fake, so I'm not entirely sure that's true. But at this point, at the at the time you guys seen this video, there hasn't been like any um, like released stuff by Sledgehammer Games or Activision like confirming World War II. We haven't seen the like trailers or gameplays or anything. All we've seen is this concept art and pictures that like when people were looking through them online, people thought maybe it was gonna be from like Saving Private Ryan or something. And um, nobody actually like there was no matching images with uh. Uh, Saving Private Ryan, so that's a really, uh, that's kind of cool, honestly, that we're gonna be going back to World War II, and, shut up, guys, sorry, my dog, my dogs are jumping, <laughs> and my voice cracked, jeez, but, um, yeah, I'm really excited for, uh, World War II to be the new setting for Call of Duty, I'm happy we're going boots on the ground, and, um, I'm really looking forward to see what they do with it, like, I know the campaign's gonna be really good just because it's in World War II, and I'm also really excited for the uh, multiplayer, I think that's gonna be fun, and uh, from what I've heard before, I think they're going to be bringing zombies into World War II. And if they are, I think it's going to be awesome. I think they should do their own take on Nazi zombies, like how Treyarch did with uh, World at War and uh, Black Ops 1. I think that would be insane. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It, it would make sense, though, for it to be like a Nazi zombies thing. 
but it had to be their own take on it, like probably new characters and stuff. Uh, like every other Call of Duty Zombies game that's come out. Um, but I think that I, I'm really excited for it, honestly, and I can't wait for there to be more stuff. My only concern with the game is that um, I feel like they're going to try to implement supply drops into the game. And personally, I'm okay with supply drops, but I, I hear the community. I know I feel you. Like, I know they kind of ruined the game for a lot of people. And for a lot of other people, I know there's, it's, it's very split in my opinion. I think more people lean towards not liking it than others liking it. But, like, Activision made, like, you know, like 3.2 or 3.6 billion dollars last year during 2015-2016 uh, for Black Ops 3. Based on just like microtransactions with like COD points and stuff, and so I I feel like they're not gonna take it out of the game. But if they were to have supply drops in the game, which I prefer not to, but if they were uh, gonna put it into the game, I'd like it to be similar to how uh, Modern Warfare Remastered does it because I think they do it the best. In which it's like you can just like spend like you can you don't even have to spend money you can just like play the game grind it out and you can just get the things you want so like all the stuff that you can get is like right in front of you so you can like like actually go and buy it if you want it's not like random chance like a lottery with like black ops uh with black ops 3 you know it's like completely random if you wanted some of the new weapons it's like you're either gonna get it or you're not gonna get it or it's just gonna take a long time you're gonna have to spend money or just like save your crypto keys and like keep on waiting for a long time so um, I don't know if they are gonna add it I feel like they may but I feel like they should do it similar to how Modern Warfare Master does it or even make it better than them because I like how they do it the best uh, Infinite Warfare has uh, they just added so much stuff into the game like a few months ago like 600 plus items and they've even added more stuff in so um, I don't know like I, I think the supply drops are okay um, but then again I don't know I just I feel like that it just needs to get better uh, I think Advanced Warfare had I think the supply drops were some of the most fun out of supply drops that I've had my experience with you know but I think that kind of set the community off a little bit so maybe if they had done it better originally more people would be on board with it but because of that it's not like really like a fan favorite thing so which is funny too because there's other games that are under Activision uh, that they make uh, like like supply drops with like Overwatch you know they do uh, like loot crates and stuff and those are like really successful and people like those so it's just funny how like another Activision game like Call of Duty like their supply drops aren't really good you know uh, it's not like they're not good but just people don't like him because the odds are just really bad for a lot of them so I think that they should just try to improve upon it and um, I would really just I'm just really excited for the game in my opinion um, I can't wait to see what uh, Slick Shimmer has in stores because I really loved Advanced Warfare it's one of my favorite Call of Duty games and uh, I think Slug Shamer Games is really going to deliver on it. Plus, they've been, like, teasing at the game for, like, at least, like, a couple years now. Like, two years ago, uh, when they were asked about, like, if they thought uh, a Call of Duty title would eventually go back in the past, like, World War II or even earlier than that. They said that they thought that it should and that it would be kind of cool. Uh, and they would like to see it happen. Um, so, that was kind of, like, a little hint. And then there's been more stuff going on, like, throughout 2015 that when they were asked stuff they said like you know kind of like similar stuff compared to 2014 so uh, it's kind of funny how it's like it's almost like we should have known all along but you just couldn't tell because the way that it was just going to the future for every game but i think by the time that um advanced warfare was out for a few months uh call of duty and like you know activision they could see that um nobody really liked the community did not like you know the futuristic setting and um kind of, that's kind of like you know at that point these other uh, companies like developers like Treyarch and uh, Infinity Ward they were already working on their games which were futuristic games because at the time of them starting to make it everyone was liking Advanced Warfare they liked the future stuff but like after a few months of it being out uh, when the community kind of said they didn't really like it as much these other companies like Treyarch and Infinity Ward were already too far into the game where they couldn't stop so they had to keep on going with it so um, I feel for those companies because Infinite Warfare is it's one of the most hated Call of Duty games um, that's been like released in the Call of Duty franchise. But like, I, I guarantee, like, if they had known in time that nobody really liked the futuristic stuff, they probably would have made a different game. But that's what's kind of cool about it is that Sledgehammer Games is the one who brought the exosuit jumping stuff into the game, 
into Call of Duty, and it's like they're going to be the ones who are taking it out. So I think that's really cool, and uh, I'm really excited to see what they do. Um, I, I can't wait for it. Uh, we should be, at the time you guys seen this video, we should be getting the trailer pretty soon. Uh, sometime mid April, uh, late April ish. I would I would assume it would come out before uh, May. I don't think it will come out May because they probably want to get the community really hyped up and stuff. So I'm really excited about that. It's funny right here, like they didn't really have this kind of future stuff at uh at uh um you know World War Two and stuff. So that's kind of funny right there. But um. Man, I'm just really looking forward to it. I know I've been talking for a while. I wasn't really planning on talking for this long, but I just had like a lot of thoughts on um, on the future Call of Duty. And one more cool, cool thing I'll say before I end this off is that um, not only like back in February of, of this year for 2017, they uh, Activision when they were first saying that um, the Call of Duty is going back to its roots and it's like boots on the ground. They said not only is it going to be for 2017, it's going to be for two years on top of 2017. So all the way to 2018 and 2019, oh, those games are going to be boots on the ground as well. And I think based on like how the community is with uh, like the exosuit um, jumping stuff, I don't think that like we'll ever. I, well, I don't want to say we'll ever go back, but I just feel like. You know, it's kind of like after so many years of getting boots on the ground, we wanted a change, so we got the exo suits, but then nobody liked that, so we went back to the boots on the ground. I'm just hoping he doesn't say like that. I hope the co community realizes that, you know, we should actually just like um, accept boots on the ground for what it is because if nobody is going to play uh, exo suits, uh, like with the exo suits and stuff, they shouldn't even like, uh, like make the game. So I think we should actually kind of like stay uh, in the boots on the ground. Um, area, but like may maybe make it so like some of it's kind of like how Black Ops 2 was, you know, when this is like a few years ahead in the future, because that's what a lot of people are thinking uh, this upcoming game was going to be. But no, they're going World War 2, which I think is even better in my opinion. But I think both would be really cool. But as long as I think the com uh, the Call of Duty franchise stays within like the uh, whole, you know, boots on the ground stuff, but it's not too far in the future, I think will be pretty good um, for the community and stuff. Like this stuff I hear wasn't even in World War II, um, for what I remember. <laughs> um, but man, I, I'm just really looking forward to this upcoming upcoming Call of Duty, and um, man, I just I'm really excited for it. That right there should have been a quad feed. I don't know what it was, but I think they were all in this little room right here. So I, that was kind of stupid. But yeah, um, but yeah, I think that's gonna wrap up my uh, my talking, you guys. I know this video is about to end. But uh, I just kind of want to give you my thoughts on uh, upcoming Call of Duty. And for those of you who are, who are unsure about um, the upcoming Call of Duty, I would highly suggest that it's going to be a lot different than the previous Call of Duty games that were in the future. This is probably going to be one of the most realistic games we've had in a long time for Call of Duty. Because it's World War II, it's like actual stuff that happened. All the futuristic stuff in the previous games, we don't even know if it's ever going to happen, you know? It's just kind of like a made-up thing. But... um. I'm really excited for World War II, and I would definitely recommend it because Call of Duty's like listening, Activision's listening, and they're gonna kind of give the community what they want. So, um, but yeah, that's gonna wrap up my talking, you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video and uh, and uh, my thoughts on World War II, and um, I'm really excited for it. So yeah, but yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. There'll be more coming soon, and until next time, later, peeps. Oh yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter at DrJ24Gaming to keep up with what I post. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up more Call of Duty, NBA 2K17, and GTA 5, and some more stuff coming out pretty soon after that. Later, peeps.